Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 25th of 2021. Well, it is titled Road to the Galactic Center. So what do we see here? Well, this is Route 163 in the United States, and it appears to be heading up towards the center of our galaxy. And we can see the Milky Way galaxy stretching straight up here off in the distance over Monument Valley. And we see the dark dust clouds and bright star clouds associated with our Milky Way. And it is those dust clouds that keep us from actually seeing the center of our galaxy. However, we can note where it is and label it here and we see the galactic center there down towards the bottom kind of the thickest part of the Milky Way. Uh, as we look out in the direction of the constellation of Sagittarius. Now, as I said, the galactic center is essentially invisible to us, we cannot see it with ordinary light. However, ordinary light is just one part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So just as visible light is divided into the colors of the rainbow from red through violet, the entire electromagnetic spectrum has other types of radiation that behave just like light, but have longer or shorter wavelengths. So things like infrared and ultraviolet are two examples of these, but also x rays, gamma rays and radio waves can be used. And the longer wavelengths are better at penetrating the dust. So we could use those to be able to study the galactic center and in fact can map the galactic center out very well in radio waves. The very long wavelengths there are really good at penetrating through that dust and giving us a peek into the center of our galaxy. Were all this dust not there, this would be one of the brightest spots in the sky because of the immense number of stars located in that direction towards the center of our galaxy galaxy. And we can see some of that based on the star clouds nearby. If you see how bright it is there off to the left hand side of where it says galactic center, it's it would be even brighter at the center of the galaxy. Could we actually see all the stars there if not for the dust? Now a couple of nebulae are also noted here that happen to be in the same general direction. And those are the Lagoon Nebula and the Trifid Nebula. And we've looked at those at pictures in the past as two nebulae two star forming regions that are present within the plane of our galaxy. And our galaxy has a great number of these star forming regions. These are just a couple that happen to be in the same general direction of the galactic center. And so get to be seen in our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for October 25th of 2021. It was titled Road to the Galactic Center. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Wolf's Cave Deep. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.